Hello YouTube, it is I, the Amazing Kitty of Saltis, with another video. And today we're going to be taking taking a look at Unreal, old Unreal's um, 227J, semi-release 227J patch for Unreal Gold. And without further ado, let's do that. Let's go here, install the game. Which I had to do a reinstallation of Windows on here recently because uh, update screwed up my installation. Ins my Windows installation, that is. And so I'm going to. And so let's go to. See here. Let's actually just be right here and let's first take a look at the at the patch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this to my desktop. And we're going to install and take a look at what is included with the patch. Um, and here we go. And so we can install the classic menu. This, of course, we're going to want to have that one. And so we have Windows 64 binaries, Unreal Editors 64 bit, old weapons. That that is kind of cool. <laughs> Set all settings, Linux native files. Well, I'll be taking a look at this on Linux as well. And yeah, did you know that that the that the two two seven patch. I, I think at least 227i, I, I believe, had had like the Linux native files. It's kind of neat that they include them, but one thing that, that I wish that they would actually do is make the Linux file native files uh, also a separate thing that you can download. So if you're running native Linux and you happen to have like the Steam release of Unreal Gold, you can just take and install that via Proton, then copy the Linux native patch onto that. So it just makes the process a lot easier to get it working in Linux, which which they didn't do with the with the two two seven i patch, unfortunately. So we could install the ARM. I don't have an ARM processor, but it's kind of neat that they support ARM. We'll take a look at it. At, at least with Linux 64-bit um, binaries. It's got Windows 64-bit binaries, which is nice. And we can do the classic menu if we want, wanted to. And so use the classic U browser menu instead of U, U menu. For the classic experience, this original menu is keyboard based, and this and the uh, standard console before, and is, is and the standard console before. U menu was introduced in Unreal Gold Unreal Tournament. Now I'm not going going to install the classic menu because I kind of prefer the the. I prefer the U menu introduced with Unreal Gold and Unreal Tournament. So let's install the latest patch, semi-released patch that is. And so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the the um, textures. And the reason why I want to install the textures is because the textures will give us higher little kind of show off the capabilities of some of the this stuff because this actually has a new op a, a new renderer that was introduced with their um old, with their um patch for Unreal tournament uh four six nine patch called X OpenGL and then maybe we I might do X OpenGL. 
for this. So, this will be one of those things that will be copy this over. So we're going to do copy. I'm going to copy this over. Because I really feel like the HD skins for both Onreal Gold and Onreal Tournament $9.99 are really the way to go when playing on wheel like like now we have like the that patch run the 64-bit client and we can take a look at some of the renders we got X open GL um, soft soft software rendering open GL 2.1 higher is required I mean this got two this at least can go with 2.1 so that's really nice that they've updated the OpenGL client and then we have direct 3d um, 9 but if we go here we can find some other renderers like we have direct X the uh, direct 3d 8 renderer. Hmm, we're not gonna do that one and I and like anyone can do direct 3d9 anytime so open gl we should do like an open gl power vr of course power vr is so deprecated at this point s3 metal deprecated um software x open gl is and then you got 3D effects glide, which if you happen to have like a like a patch like in glide, you can use this. And it, and it's really cool to play on wheel on an actual 3D effects voodoo card. I've done it. I've actually played this game on Voodoo 3 back in like 2017. And it was really cool. So let, let's try X Open GL because, you know, let's see what this is. Use on wheels modern Open GL support X Open GL. X Open GL utilizes Open GL version 3.3.3.3 dash 4.6 functions. Provides support for modern high end graphics cards and offers new features like normal and parallax mapping requires new and addi additional textures so what i installed were, were uh, was newer textures so that way we can take advantage of x open gl because this game rocks when you run x open gl and so i thought either that or direct 3d9 would be a good render but i think but I think X Open GL will be the way way to go. Um, Open AL, yeah, definitely. So we'll take a look at the settings. Yeah, this looks really nice. Distance 8x.
And it's even as it is tropic filtering, which is nice. What a deceiver. Let's restart the game. Let's look at the With the settings. And you can see that the game just functions a lot better. It's not choppy. Settings. And we'll probably just go to bot. Like, this looks really nice. I always liked this, uh, that, that on wheel had, like, reflective textures that was really cool for the time period when this came out. Let's go into here, let's wrap Let's see any more settings that are in this. Like the X open GL. We have to leave the parallax version. Parallax. mapping. We got some other like settings. Like we're gonna enable Now nah, we'll just leave that to see. Have you got like more settings? Have you got some more settings in here that are just like well Let's try parallax lighting. No, no, parallax. More or less set up the way we want it. Restart the game just to make sure that we get our like this is a kind of a cool game. Be like parallax. Let's actually see if we can find a multiplayer match. So I just set up my character. I 
this is a custom map. This is a custom mod. Ooh. Okay, let's try a bot match. Let's try a bot match. <laughs> yeah, let's try something else. Let's try deck 16, that's a good map. Hardcore bots, average skill.
I think that's about all for the Windows side of things. Let's let's try the uh, let's try the Linux side of things. I've tried loading the game in Linux and it just doesn't, doesn't seem to want to do it. I tried like it just crashes with something and I don't know why. Like this gives me that error. So they're going to have to fix that error. They're going to have to fix this problem with 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 the game then. So that's one like like major thing that that other thing that they need need to fix is they need they need to for they need to have like separate Linux binaries and and they and they also need to fix that in Linux because I would like to be able, be able to play this in Linux. Now what they really need to do with um with Unreal with that with the with the 227J patch in for like the Linux side of things is create separate binaries um that you can download so that that are like Linux specific um separate binaries in a dot zip file that you just copy into your um, Unreal Gold folder, and that that would be a far better way of um, of just if the issue is there's a conflict between Windows and um, and Linux binary and whatnot, 
it'd be a lot easier. So I guess we'll just have to show more of it in um in in um I guess we'll have to show more of it in Unreal No in Windows that you know they really need me to work on I'm going to report that as a bug. And I just tell them what I found that I've been having. Let's try like let's let's run return to the problem. Use classic balance. Let's try that. Unwell tournament random ammo armor and weapons. We can even we can play it. You know what? I should do an entire playthrough of um, on wheel of classic on wheel with the um, old weapons uh but that'd be cool. Let's load let's try it return to the copy. Example graphics. Let's turn the audio down a little loud. Let's music audio. Turn it down. Yeah, and I thought that that was, was kind of great to showcase some of the graphics. Some of the graphics in, uh, in Unreal. Like, with this OpenGL renderer and what that they've added in 227J. And I, what I like about this patch is that it act finally includes the that X OpenGL renderer. That that is a great renderer. 
I mean, I would, I would prefer, like, a Vulcan renderer in the game, but, you know, this is fine. What they, and as I said, said in the video, they need to fix the Linux problem, the problems that I'm having with Linux. Either make those binary, bi the Linux binaries separate, like something you, you can download in a dot zip, or, um, Which would be, which could be the problem. It could be reading some other files. I don't know. I really don't know how their patch works. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And, and, and until next time, peace out.